what is fascinating to me and interesting to me and what I think is really worth exploring, what I would love to hear some of your reflections on as far as it's gotten, uh, is, is your thoughts on community and how to do that and how, how to build it. And particularly how to build it when you're trying to create a community that simply does not have very many places to go in the conventional world. And all of you know this, I, I talk about it a lot. If you're really even in second or third tier, you're pretty much closeted. And not so much by law, but just by your own, um, although you know, if George Bush knew what this was, <laughs> it would be uh, gone. But after trying to explain to friends for the 82nd time why it's important to take some of these things into account and get that deer in headlight look from them, you go, okay, never mind. <laughs> and the friends that see you coming with seven Ken Wilber books, you know, like, <laughs> Brian, here he comes again. They're like, ah. Um, it, it gets lonely. It, it gets seriously lonely. And if you're a professional, it, it gets seriously tragic if you're in, in a profession that you're trying to do this with. I was talking with Dr. Larry George, one of the co-directors at Integral Medicine Center, and he's in a group of seven physicians. And they sort of know what he's doing, but not exactly know what he's doing. And they thought, well, he's, he's got to be doing some what a holistic shit or something in there. <laughs> and so when it comes to overhead, he's going to you know, just take up more cost. And we'll sort of let him do it because he's pretty good as a specialist in some areas. Uh, as a matter of fact, for the last several years, um, Larry has been bringing in more money than any other physician in their entire group. And yet they still don't know quite what to do with them or what that means or how that's there. So he's sitting there. And as a matter of fact, there are, there are um, two or three physicians that aren't even making their overhead. So he's, in effect, paying for them. But they still won't quite get, oh, they think, oh, well, you're adding all this stuff in and you're just being a, like a psychologist or something. And Larry's like, yes, that's exactly what I'm, <laughs> I'm adding all these other things in. And that's, you can just figure it out yourself. Uh, you can't get it in medicine, it's very hard. You can't, psychiatry is hard, law is hard, and you can just go down the list. There is also, of that 2% or so, and the, that percentage varies, of course, quite a bit. But of that 2%, those are the ones that are doing this, whether they're in the closet or not. And they're the, the rare person that you explain what you're doing and it's almost an instant recognition. And then those are very uh, cherished and very rare. And just in terms of sheer numbers of the population, um, 0.5% was the last solid figure we had on turquoise. I think it's probably 1% or 2% now. But even, even uh, if that's 1%, each level at leading edge drops by about a magnitude. So indigo is, is um, it could be much, much less than a tenth or even a hundredth of a percent in some areas. So community becomes very, very important. What we want to find out now that we have a management structure that I think is really solid. And for the first time ever, really, I felt that we have a management structure that I could take to the world and say, this is, these are people that really know what they're doing. Because you have to have, as Rob Smith puts it, both altitude and aptitude. You get one or the other, and it's a bit of a disaster. And now we've got both, and it's really exquisite. So we are comfortable taking this out, taking it to uni more universities, taking it to creating integral salons themselves, which is one of the things that's on the top of our list, and then in local integral life practice groups. Although it's quite okay that a much larger percentage of people want to do just integral salons and talk about it than to do a, a pra the practice, and that's fine. 
I don't, there, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Uh, it's pretty standard human issue stuff. And we're glad to go with the salons. Um, there are thousands of people out there waiting for us to make some sort of move to do that. And we hope within the next year to do exactly that. So that's where I think we're also going to see this start to come alive. But no communities are built online. They're built in human space. So that's where we really have to focus on that as well. We just did our first integral salon, or, or the rebirth of integral salon in Vancouver last Monday. And one of the things that I really was actually startled by, because I've been doing this for a long time, but my new partner is in integral medicine. He's a naturopath. And he was sharing how he applies the aqua model in medicine. Yeah. And by the very fact that he was talking in aqua and applying in aqua, I immediately had applications in the business world right. where I live. Right. And, you know, that's, we talk about quadrants, we talk about line levels, but it's disciplines, cr yeah. talking across disciplines, which yeah. is truly one of the most fragmented yeah. parts of our, of our world. Yeah. It's really almost caught me by surprise. You know, I didn't, you know, it was all, they're nice, they're doing that, but I actually didn't think I was going to, I was going to learn something about medicine, but I didn't think I was going to learn something about business listening to him talking about medicine, and I did. Um, and then the other thing that I learned that part, one of those aspects of it was he started with the benefits, which is what, you know, one of the cornerstones in business marketing is you don't go out and sell the features, you go out and sell the benefits, yeah. what people want for it. And I couldn't, I was, I was appalled because I've been going out talking about the five elements, you know, all the features of Integral without talking about the benefits. As soon as he started talking about the benefits, everybody in the room lit up. You know, like I can outperform my peers, I can learn faster than anybody else. I can make sense of a fragmented world. I can, you know, I can release more of myself into the world. Everybody, well, I want that, yeah. you know? And so that is really, in this last week, has been my shift to just create a pull rather than a push. Pull them from the benefits side. Yeah, so that actually sounds pretty, um, I mean, how would you see sharing that with even other disciplines? I mean, is that uh, something that you just see kind of have a, rippling effect? Well, I mean, he, the, the, the good thing about integral medicine is everybody's sitting there with a body, <laughs> you know, and a mind, that, so it's very, very real. Yeah. You know, in, in business, it's not necessarily as quick yeah. for people, but you start talking to them about money, yeah. or you start talking about, you know, expanding in their job. I mean, you can find those buttons, if you will, you can find yeah. those points of pain, you can find those draws for pleasure in every discipline, I believe. Um, they're there, they're in, and then find out how they speak it in their language and just ping them up to the surface and, and, and actually build the demand before yeah. you create the supply. Yeah. And I think most of, certainly me, but others I notice is like, oh, I get this great thing, let me oversupply you yeah. <laughs> with information <laughs> about it, right? So there's a discipline now for me to just, you know, put out the benefits and wait yeah. until someone comes back. Well, I, how, did, how did you get that? You know? Well, it takes a little bit of work. Do you want that? You know, and uh, you know, <laughs> you know, you have for it, and you build a commitment before you give them the, the candy uh, or the yep. you know the poison. <laughs> yep. Whatever way they look at it. But you know, we had <laughs> we had one of these people in the salon that literally, uh, uh, yeah, you know, we were at a screening of The Secret. Yeah. And I how and, exciting for you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and well, this is the secret behind the secret. <laughs> And uh, we were in this discussion afterwards, and, and I was talking, she came up to me afterwards and just was thrilled by what I was talking about. And so I introduced her to work. She literally hadn't known your work. And I met her at church, because that's where I met her through. Two weeks later, she'd read three books, you know, still writing with grace and grit, and has yeah. put everything on hold until she gets this completely absorbed. But, you know, she was saying, this, this is like, you know, one of those closet yeah. uh, turquoise that we just discovered. You yeah. Know? But she was saying to the group, she said, well, because I sent out the 32-page iOS thing to everybody, and she says, you know, I, I had to work at that. I had to work at Like, I mean, I, I almost gave up before, you know, and, but I sat there and worked as hard as I've worked since grad school, to, read three times, got it, and then that's yeah. when I started to read. Yeah. So, you know, that was the yin and the yang. This is a great benefit, but here, hey, guys, this is, you know, they don't come easy, but, you know, here's, so anyway, hopefully that communicates.